you know, sometimes everything you need to see is right there in the trailer. And uh, unfortunately, this is one of those movies. Uh, 2023 movie, Double Life, starring Javicia Leslie. You probably know her from the series Batwoman that was on the CW. And we also have uh, Pascal Hutton. Uh, they play Sharon and Joe. Uh, our premise of this lovely movie is that uh, Mark, um, I guess our hero, <laughs> uh, Mark, uh, is uh, is killed, um, and you know why he's talking to his wife with his phone, uh, his, his wife on the phone, and uh, also leaving his mistress's house. Uh, they then um, find out that Mark was seeing his mistress, and that. Uh, you know, there's time to solve uh, the murder of what happened to Mark. Um, an unlikely duo, if you will. Uh, your, your mistress and your wife, or your side piece and your wife, uh, solve your murder. Um, would this work in real life? Probably not. <laughs> um, the movie uh, pretty much, like I said, gives you everything that you need to see uh, right there. It's an hour and 20 minutes. Um, and like I said, it just... It, 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 it felt like, I, I don't want to use the word to be movie as like a negative, but it felt like kind of like a mix between that and like a Hallmark movie. Um, like, you know, normally like, you know, the, the, bad, the husband's always the bad guy in these. But, you know, in, in this one, you, you see that Joe and Sharon are, you know, coming, making this bond with each other to find out who killed the, the, their man. Uh, you know, in their sister wives' uh, adventure, uh, <laughs> but we we see what exactly happens uh, as we get deeper into the plot of what exactly happened to Mark. Why why was he killed? Also, trying to figure out and skate around that uh, Joe was sleeping with him the whole time. Um, I think that was one, probably my favorite part of the entire movie. Is uh, when is she going to find out? Is she going to find out? I think obviously from the trailer you do see that she she's told but they don't tell you when uh exactly in the movie is going to happen so like throughout the movie you do get like a lot of skating around scenes of oh man i want to tell her but I, i'm not sure you know and then they have moments where they kind of have a bond and their friendship and they're bonding over memories and you know joe's telling you know stuff about this we we, we have a lot that's I, that was the best part of the movie for me them just trying to figure out how they were going to set up how she was going to tell this man's wife that he's been sleeping with her the whole time. Um, not not a bad option if you were going to have a side piece, but without going into spoilers, I don't want to say why Mark did what he did because you find that out later. Um, but again, we get into you know the overall plot of the movie, which is to find out why was Mark killed? Uh, what exactly was he into? Um, they start the movie off by showing you that he's kind of dealing with some dealings, trying to figure something out, but it's not exactly what you think it's, it is. It's not exactly what you think, you know, like just because a man cheats doesn't mean he's a bad guy, right? That's that's kind of, it's kind of, kind of what I got out of the movie. Um, like I said, uh, the, the highlights uh, of this movie for me were uh, definitely Javicia, um, like I said, coming from her her bat, Batwoman stuff. You already knew she was going to have some action scenes in this. Um, she she has uh, quite a few, not a lot. I don't think they wanted to take it out of the realm of reason because they're supposed to be just regular people um, that just don't happen to, uh, you know, have martial arts training and weapons. Um, but it does get on the side of the ridiculous um, as Joe and Sharon are being chased by two unknown factors, uh, the people they believe or they know they believe they killed the their, their man, their hus her husband. Um, they're being chased throughout the movie uh, by them, and they're trying to figure out uh, what exact. They're trying to find something that Mark had, um, and by scaring them, and like I said, chasing them, chasing them all around the city. Um, like I said, she she has a lot of good moments here, where you know, like I said, not not a lot of action throughout the movie, um, but you know, she she still comes in and does her thing. I absolutely love her on screen. Uh, I, I honestly just watched it just because she was in it. Like I didn't even need too much more after seeing the trailer i knew what i was getting into but i was like you know what she my, my girl is in this javisi is in this i got I, i'm gonna give it a shot i'm gonna give it a the old humble college try right and i did and i 
I got exactly what I thought I was going to get out of it, and that's okay. Uh, you know, uh, Sharon's character played by Pascal. She um, she plays the uh, the sad wife. Uh, you know, she was going through something serious. Again, I don't want to spoil that. She's going through something serious that led to her husband kind of doing what he did. Um, but she she admits, you know, he has his fault. But again, she still loves him. She wants to know who murdered her husband. She doesn't have a lot of. Um, she doesn't have a lot of like I want to say action. She she she's involved in the, some of the action, but she's not exactly the one that's like performing it. Um, and she's she's tied to a bunch of stuff as she as she finds out more about her husband and obviously his affair with with this woman. And uh, of course, you know you, you know if you get to meet the person that your husband's sleeping with, you got questions, right? And um, of course, you know they some questions get asked, and uh, sometimes you don't want to hear that. Uh, but like I said, in the process of trying to figure all that out, um, they go all around the world. They they collect the clues. You know, they 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 do what the police can't because the police of of the dummies and and all these type of movies for some reason they can't see the, the the easiest thing. Look, this wasn't like a corporate espionage thing. Like it, it they're being chased by two people who were doing the sloppiest of sloppy. Um, and I, I just, <laughs> I wish we could have got a little bit more of that. I wish there was a little bit more to the actual plot of like what was going on. And like I said, I don't want to spoil that, but I, I just wish it was a little bit more there than what I, what I had already suspected it of being. Um, but yeah, you know, like I said, the, the, like I said, the highlights for me, uh, with Javicia, um, just doing her thing, being on screen, being the beauty that she is, um, you know. The acting wasn't as strong as it could have been, and uh, this is a this is a budget movie. It's a big budget. I would say big budget. And it, it was a decent enough budget that it's above a two B movie and a YouTube flick. Um, but you, you could definitely see where you know they they tried to scale it up a little bit. Now that was that was my pluses for this movie. Um, look, bad look, acting's not as bad things. But acting's not as bad as good as it could have been. The overall plot could have been stronger. Um, obviously, like I said, I wish there was a little bit more meat to the bones of like what actually was going on. It, it was real thin. It was real obvious. There was no, there was no secret. You almost seen it coming a mile away. But again, you know, if you if you're here to support the movie, you know, go out and see it. Like I said, I just I just honestly, it didn't need to be an hour twenty minutes. We could have reduced this to uh, to twenty minutes less. But uh, I guess it needs to be. Uh, at least a certain amount of move, uh, length, uh, length to be a feature film because this is going to be in select theaters and coming out on May 5th, on, on uh, Friday, May 5th. So uh, if you have a couple of bucks in your pocket and you decide, hey, I want to see a movie, probably not going to be this one. I would uh, I would stream this. This is a definite stream. This is a Netflix. This is a Hulu. This is anything but spending your money at the movie theater. Um, unless you just just have nothing else to do. But uh, like I said, overall, it just it it, it just the place of the plot was weak, and I, I just wish we could have got some stronger characters out of this movie. Um, I wish we could have got more of the relationship between uh, Mark and Joe. Could have seen a little bit more of that. I mean, a lot of that is explained kind of through the through the narrative, like they're talking, but you don't really actually see anything other than the the beginning where they where they kind of set up their relationship. I wish there was more. Um, shown with the wife, like maybe some flashbacks or something that they probably could have done, um, just to kind of kind of make the 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 bond between Joe and Sharon a little stronger. Um, but other than that, I mean, obviously it's it's not meant to be believable that your mistress and your and your wife is going to solve your murder in real life. Uh, they're probably going to be like, oh, forget this dude, is you know whatever. That's on him. You know, once immediately after you find out you've been cheated on. But uh, that's our plot, people. Uh, that's what we got to work with. Uh, a good old tag team duo. Uh, like I said, the uh, the adventures of, uh, of these sister wives as they as they solve their favorite guy's uh, murder. And um, yeah, check it out. Uh, if you let me know what you, what you think about the movie. Uh, I personally said this is a stream. Uh, I do not think this is worth your your dollars in the uh, expensive old movie theater. But uh, if you feel like you just need to see something, um, Double Life is probably uh, probably your movie. Um, yeah, um, but like I said, if you if you were a fan, uh, if you just wanted to see Javicia like me, and uh, you wanted to see uh, you know her come out here and have a good time, then yeah, check it out. But uh, I'm gonna say this. Women can make terrible movies too. 
and you know this is not the first and it's not going to be the last but like i said you see everything you need to see through the plot alone so let that be what it will um but other than that, like I said, leave, leave a message here. Let me know what you thought about it. If you actually do wind up seeing this movie uh, and don't forget that Terrell said that uh, you should have streamed it. So if you went and spent 15 bucks, that's on you. But again, women can make a bad movie too. And uh, let me know what you guys thought about the movie in the comments and I'll see you guys for another review. See ya. Big ol' bell